Hey everyone, Ashton here again. As you can tell by the title on the video, today we're taking a look at 10 colognes that you can purchase for under 20 US dollars online. Uh, each one of these, in my opinion, is really nice. Um, they each are for different seasons, day or night. And uh, this is not all of the fragrances that you can purchase, obviously, for under $20. Um, there may be more of these videos in the future, but I figured these were 10 pretty good ones to start with. So first off, it's a really obvious one. It's really, really well known, and it's actually two from the same brand. I figured I'd put them together, um, and that is Azaro Chrome and Azaro Chrome Legend. So Chrome, obviously, it's been out for a while. Everybody knows about it. It's uh, citrus. There are some white flowers in there. Um, it's really clean, fresh, soapy. It's a people pleaser. You'll get compliments with it. I know it does get a little bit of hate in the community because at this point it's seen as kind of generic, but uh, it works. I mean, people like it. And uh, like I said, it's great for summer, spring, daytime. Uh, and you can pick it up for under 20 bucks. Not this size, but still. Uh, Chrome Legend has a, a great apple note, uh, also a tea note in there. Um, this one performs really well. It's got great longevity, uh, great uh, sillage, especially for the price. Also a people pleaser. Um, it is also a fresh summer type scent. Uh, the apple can get a little bit in your face, uh, so don't go too crazy heavy on the trigger. Um, this one, I would say, leans more toward like that soapy, fresh, clean, and this is more like a bright, fresh uh, scent. But they both work, they'll both get you compliments, and uh, for the price, you really can't go wrong, especially if you're a younger guy just starting out with your collection. These both work great for that. Next up, we have a, another scent that's fairly well known in the community. It is Perry Ellis 360 Red. Uh, so this guy gets a lot of comparisons to Aqua de Jo, and uh, with good reason, because this smells really similar to Aqua de Jo, only at one fourth of the price. Um, it does have more of a spicy accord um, that kind of plays in with the Aqua de Jo scent. So if you have smelled Aqua de Jo before, which most people have, imagine that with a little bit of extra spice thrown in, and that is basically Perry Ellis. 360 red. Um, honestly, most of the time I would choose to wear this over um, the normal Aqua de Jo. Now, if we're talking Profumo or Ascenza, that's a whole other story, but if we're talking just straight up Aqua de Jo, I would prefer this most of the time. Um, you can also find this a lot of times in uh, TJ Maxx or Ross's or discounted stores like that. That's actually where I picked this bottle up, and I think it was maybe like $15 in store. Um, this is a, a 50 mil. But yeah, you can get up to 200 mils of this, still awfully cheap. Okay, so next up we have got Kenneth Cole Signature. So Kenneth Cole is not really a name that conjures up you know, a lot of thoughts of super high quality, but this is a really unique, really nice fragrance. It has a magnetic cap, but it's really not a great one. Um, the bottle itself looks pretty nice. This has notes of papyrus, guyac wood, violet and grapefruit predominantly. So off the top you do get that kind of sour grapefruit vibe. Once that goes away, which is pretty quickly, you're left with a, a warm guyac wood, but the main note is papyrus and it is the dominant player for pretty much the rest of the way through. So you get this really uh, nice woody kind of vibe. It's refined, especially for the price probably trends a little more toward the mature edge of uh, people, but it is another kind of people pleaser. You get a good amount of compliments with it. People seem to like the way it smells, and it is a unique smell. I really haven't um, dealt with any other fragrances that smell just like this one does, so it kind of stands alone in that regard. Uh, performance is pretty much average for uh, longevity and sillage, but for the price, this is a really nice pickup um, because it is versatile, it is uh, a people pleaser, and it is a unique scent. Next up, we have got Ferrari Womo. Uh, it's got a great bottle, really nice design. The cap is great. Uh, Atomizer has got a Ferrari red top there. It's got citrus, 
uh, leather, nutmeg, a um, little bit of cedar. It gets compared really often to um, Dior's Fahrenheit. And honestly, uh, at first I thought, you know, no way, it's, this thing is under 20 bucks, it's not gonna smell remotely close. But uh, once it starts to, to work and starts to dry down a little bit, there is a noticeable similarity. Uh, it's not a clone or anything like that. It's just kind of in the same vein. Uh, it doesn't have that kind of gasoline or petrol note off the top like Dior does, Dior Fahrenheit. Uh, but it is still a great leather scent. Really, really nice for fall or winter. Um, I would wear it in day or night personally. It is really well blended. It doesn't come across cheap at all. Uh, this is a, a great fragrance and honestly, if this was twice the price, it would still be worth it. That brings me to our next fragrance, which is Insurrection Pure by Ray and Tradition. So if you've heard of this one before, then you know it is a clone of Creed's Aventus. Um, it comes in this really nice presentation. It uh, kind of fades from white to clear down the bottle. Uh, it has this nice metal strip down the side. It also has a really great box as well. You should check out the presentation if you're interested in it. Uh, this is a 90 ml bottle, which is how all of these come. Uh, it is obviously a little more synthetic than Aventus. Um, you're not going to get you know, an exact clone of Aventus for under $20. But honestly, in my opinion, off the top, it does share similarities to kind of a more fruity batch of Aventus. Uh, this obviously has pineapple, apple, and birch uh, going along with that whole Aventus feel. Uh, there are lots and lots of other clones of Aventus, like Club de Nuit Intense Man by Armoff, uh, La Ventura by Al Harriman, maybe pronounced that wrong, uh, Glenn Perry, Unpredictable Adventure. Uh, there are a bunch of them out there. But if you're looking for ones for under $20, this is the best one in my opinion. Um, the dry down is you know, not exactly the same as Aventus, it's close. But uh, if we're talking clones, the dry down on Club de Nuit Intense is uh, closer than this one. That being said, if you want something that is similar to Aventus, will give you a similar kind of feel that you can just spray on and not have to worry about the price, then this is the way to go. And some people will buy this and then Club de Nuit Intense layer them together and then you kind of get the opening from this one the dry down from the other one and you get something that's a little closer to Aventus itself. Now we're gonna take a look at another really obvious one. But just because it is obvious does not mean that it isn't true that this is one of the best fragrances that you can get for under $20. That is Nautica Voyage. And while we're at it, Nautica Voyage Sport is also now under $20. Um, Nautica Voyage Sport does get a lot of hate in the community and I realize that. Uh, but in my opinion, it's not a terrible fragrance. Uh, you get kind of C notes on the top as they're described. It has more of a tropical fruit smell than Nautica Voyage does in my opinion. Um, so when you get the dry down on Voyage Sport, it seems a little more similar to something that maybe Tommy Bahama would do with like Set Sail, maybe St. Bart's. St. Bart's is probably a better fragrance, but it's in the same vein. So if you already have Voyage and you really like it, you may want to check this one out, especially since it's so cheap now. Um, the Siage and Longevity on Voyage Sport, not great. Uh, just throwing it out there that this is now available uh, for a very small amount. So Voyage gets lots of love and uh, it has a great uh, crisp, bright green apple note uh, that's really fresh. And that's probably the note that everyone remembers most from Voyage because that's the best note in the scent. Um, it functions as a really nice high quality aquatic. Uh, most aquatics people seem to shy away from um, for being generic or having really poor performance, things like that. But Voyage has great performance. Uh, it's got good longevity, good sillage. It's a great scent and you can pick up 100 mils for under uh, 20 bucks. It's a great deal, especially for summer and spring. One thing that I'll mention really briefly is that this is the uh, vintage version because it has this uh, metal cap that comes off. If you buy it brand new now, you'll get a cap the same as on uh, Voyage Sport here, 
which is just kind of a crappy plastic cap that comes all the way off. I myself have not smelled the uh, Voyage with the plastic cap. Some people say that there's a difference, others say that there is not. Next up we have a fantastic fragrance from the House of Bulgari, black. It looks like a hockey puck kind of. Uh, it is a dark leather scent, really nice for uh, fall and winter, especially a date. Um, I would wear a date or night, but it would probably trend toward a night fragrance. Uh, it also has a lot of vanilla that kind of sweetens up that dark leather. This is not like a dingy leather or animalic or anything like that. It is smooth, it is nice, um, it's almost like something that I would imagine wearing like at night in a, a nice city, maybe uptown or downtown depending on what city we're talking about, underneath the skyscrapers, underneath the lights, uh, going on a, a date and then going back to your studio apartment, something like that. This is a great, great fragrance, super well blended. It came out in 98, but honestly if it was released now it would still smell just as fresh uh, if it were coming out new because this thing is timeless. This is a great fragrance for under 20 bucks. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at uh, I guess a more versatile fragrance and it is Le Vetiver by Carvin. Um, this is an EDP concentration and it gets great uh, longevity and performance uh, for under 20 bucks. It has obviously mainly a vetiver note and also has a note of gin in there. You mainly get that gin note uh, as it opens and for probably the first hour or so. After that, once this starts to dry down, it's really similar to Guerlain's vetiver. I get um, probably like a 90% similarity there. So this is not a vetiver in the vein of like a Thierry Mugler cologne where it's like super fresh, clean, soapy kind of feel. And it is not a vetiver in the sense of like Encre Noir where it's dark and dank and in your face. This, like I said, is like Guerlain's vetiver where it's kind of classy and it is fresh, but it's not really super, super soapy or anything like that. It's super versatile. You can wear it day or night. Honestly, you could wear it all four seasons. You could dress it up, dress it down. It's a great fragrance, a great value for under $20. Um, this is a really, really nice fragrance, especially if you're into vetiver. Let's go ahead and take a look at another clone. This one is from our Moth Derby Clubhouse Blotch. So this one is a clone of Creed's Silver Mountain Water. And honestly, the quality of this really surprised me the first time that I smelled it. I wasn't expecting a ton because I do have um, like Tag Hilm and uh, The Warrior and a few other Arma fragrances and they're not bad, but they didn't really blow me away. And this one, in my opinion, that I have smelled thus far is the best Arma. Um, it smells very similar to Silver Mountain Water. Obviously you don't get 100% of the quality that you're going to get from Creed, but for the price, it is very, very close. It has black currant, it's got that nice tea note. Uh, it doesn't really have kind of like that inky note that some people will describe with Silver Mountain Water. And this is an Eau de Toilette, so the performance is not quite as good as Silver Mountain Water, but it still has average performance, uh, longevity, sillage. Uh, the presentation on this is actually really nice. It doesn't look like a cheap bottle or anything like that. And of course it would work better probably in the spring or summertime. Um, but if you're looking for something that has a very close similarity to Silver Mountain Water, but costs, you know, one eighth of the price, then this is the way to go right here. The last scent that we're gonna take a look at is the cheapest one. And it is Aura by Giacomo. Uh, this has notes of tobacco, tea, sandalwood, a little bit of tonka. Uh, it also has this very strange bottle, uh, which is kind of plexiglass, and then the bottle is suspended in the middle here. Uh, this is a 40 mil EDT, it also comes in 75, and as of this video, you can pick this up for $7 on FragranceNet, so it is super cheap. Um, off the top, it does have this strange kind of feel, which is uh, a gorse note, uh, also with a little bit of tea. As it dries down, you get a nice tobacco. It is uh, fairly sweetened, it's not super sweet, uh, but it's a nice kind of uh, 
leafy tobacco scent. Uh, it is, again, pretty unique. There aren't uh, many things out there that smell like this. Some people have said the Gucci Rush is a little bit similar to this with the sandalwood in the dry down. I get more tobacco. I do own Gucci Rush. Um, obviously, Rush is a better fragrance, but it gives you an idea of kind of how this falls. Um, it is probably not going to be like the biggest people pleaser out of the scents that we've gone through so far because most of these are ones that the general public is really going to like. This one is kind of hit or miss. You're either going to think it smells really nice or it's going to kind of turn you off. So, you know, just throwing that out there. That being said, with only $7 and you get a full bottle, you know, you're getting a full bottle for the price of basically a sample of something else. So if you don't like it, just gift it to someone else. Well, that is it for the first 10 fragrances under $20. I have a lot more that I'll probably pull together at some point and do another video like this. Uh, but this is good for now. Uh, let me know if you've smelt any of these, uh, what you think about them, or maybe if you know a fragrance under 20 bucks that I don't know about, you could let me know. Until next time, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks.